Good morning. We are in Paris. It's our second day here. And today we're going to be trying some French cuisine and doing some sightseeing. But first, let's take you back to this morning. So before we go anywhere, let us show you this lift. I have to be quiet because there's people in these rooms, but we're staying in a proper French building and I've never seen anything like this lift. So I've pressed the button and now we wait. It's worth the wait. There we go. No one's in there. Look how tiny this is. to go in reverse because of my bag. Oh shit. <laughs> I had to go in reverse because of my bag. Let me shut the door. Press zero. Oh, stand back. <laughs> it's a very tight you squeeze. Have no you have no room. <laughs> it's cute though. If it stops, I don't do the floor. Oh, we're done. I haven't got much room to manoeuvre, have you? And it does say two people. Yeah, so we're just below the limit. Just about. <laughs> we are now out in the Parisian streets, baby. And we're staying in Plastic Clichy. Yeah, Plastic Clichy. Which is quite like, it seems like a very safe area. Yeah, oh, it's, it's raining. Safe... Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a safe area and it's quite a... Uh... Seems, say trendy area. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems sociable, yeah. a lot of restaurants. It's like a lot of locals live here, but like cool locals. Yeah, yeah. You know what, I agree. Yeah. you got quite a French vibe about you today. Oh, thank you. It's not like I tried or anything. Yeah. <laughs> First stop is going to be the Sacre Coeur today. So we're going to walk there. It's about 15 minutes away from where we are now. So let's head over there. Let's go. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Standing <laughs> on my coat. Look where you're going, man. <laughs> Look where you're going. No, I stood on oh, my coat. Oh, did you? Oh no. Just walking the side. Walk for the same one. Yeah. I think we should be able to follow the signs. Yeah. There do seem to be a lot of scams here, so some of our tips would just be to avoid eye contact at any cost, you know, don't interact in any games, and then if people ask if you speak English, just go, no, yeah. no. This Doesn't is matter what accent you do, maybe not an English accent, <laughs> yeah. but anything other than just, no, yeah. no. And then they, they literally just leave you alone. So the main types of scams you're likely to come across, there'll be two types. One of them is there'll be like, youngish women coming up to you with clipboards, asking you to pay money to a charity. Usually very polite as Yeah, well. usually very polite. These don't exist um, at all. They're just trying to steal your money and they usually come in groups as well. Where are you from? Uh, from the UK. UK? Yeah. Africa. No, I'm good, man. No, no. No, thank you. No, no, it's okay, man. I'm a good. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. That is a perfect example of us not following our own yeah. advice. We just fell for it then. Yeah. Where are you from? Do you know what? It's because we were speaking to the blog yeah. in English. We weren't, we weren't prepping our uh, yeah. on nose. That's another scam. You try to put someone on your wrist and then they make you pay for it. Yeah, friendship bracelet. Yeah. Or a rose. Yeah. I fell for that once. Yeah. They put a rose in your hand and then they won't take it back. Yeah. So, so they just put it on the floor once. Yeah. So that's another scam. But the one I was just explaining, I'll have to do that again. Cause Cut me off halfway through. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the main types of scams, one of them is yeah, you'll get like youngish women coming up to you asking you to with clipboards, asking you if you speak English. And if you say yes, they'll ask you to pay money to a charity, which doesn't exist. And they sometimes come in swarms of groups as well, so you gotta be careful with your pockets, your bags, make sure everything's close to you because they will try and nick stuff from you. Um, but if you they usually ask if you speak English and if you just say no, as if you're French, then no usually go away. We've used it the whole time here and we've not really been bothered. Yeah. Except that they're asking if we speak English. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is in the street you'll see um, people playing like a, it's like a betting game where they have a load of cups on the floor, they put a ball on, in, in one of the cups and then you have to try and follow the cup. It's again, it's a, it's a scam because the ball, it, you always lose. 
because the ball will always, they'll always like to be able to keep the ball inside the cup so it looks as if it's not there. What will happen is you'll see, you'll see a big group around them and a lot of the people in that group all are in on the scam. So they'll have fake people coming up and playing the game and winning. And then when you play, you will 100% lose. But on a more positive note, have a look over there. It's the Sacre Coeur. Sacre Bleu. There's no blurring. No, that's like a French saying, isn't it? And Sacre Bleu is like, oh my God. Does it? Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. Sacre Coeur. Ah, more steps. Yes, that's right, All Paris is, is steps. So we've just been inside, couldn't record anything because there were signs everywhere saying no photos or videos. Mm. But I'm sure, you know, if you Googled it, you could see what it looks like inside. Yeah. It's an absolutely beautiful church. Mm. And when we walked in, you had the choir singing, so the setting was lovely as well. Yeah, yeah it was nice. It, was just, it always baffles me how like they built those things because like, yeah. they're, they're huge, like they, there's huge what, structures inside. And they were built like, what, over a hundred years ago? Yeah. And like, I don't know how they did it. If you come here and there's a queue, don't be too put off because the queue doesn't move. We were about just in front of the church and it just took, what, 15 minutes, about 15, minutes, 15 yeah. 20 minutes. And then they just let about a hundred people in. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, the queue goes from like not moving to pretty much just getting inside, yeah. and it's free to enter as well. Yeah, it does. It does offer that if you want to go up in the dome, it's seven euros. I and mean, we didn't see how you do that, but no. I don't think we fancied it today anyway. Yeah, it's you, you already get a good enough view up here anyway. Like it's amazing up here. Yeah, but it's raining, yeah. so we need to go find some shelter. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. Mm, oh, it's lovely. Oh, I like that. So we've stopped at a crepe place, and it's apparently it's tradition to get apple cider with your crepe. So we got a carafe of of it. It's only twelve euros fifty, which is pretty good. We're gonna get two or three glasses out of that. So, yeah. Tastes really nice as well, it's nice and sweet, not too bad. It's just a really weird sensation to drink fizzy cider out of a wine glass, but okay. So I got ham, cheese and egg with palapepper, <laughs> Special butter. Yeah, some like peppery butter. Um, looks like, looks like um, cheese a little bit, but. But that's the butter. Yeah, this is the butter. I reckon I'll put it on the crepe a little bit. Looks like, looks like it might be a little bit spicy. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Let's try a little bit. This was the, um, the waitress's recommendation, this bird. Because mm. you could either have this one, seaweed or plain. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Taste it. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Really? Mmm. I don't think it's like a traditional crepe because they were called buckwheat crepes. So they got a bit of a stronger taste to it, but really nice though. Um, the cheese as well, oh my god. It's Comte cheese. And yeah, that's really, really good. And the butter as well, it's a little bit peppery. I wouldn't say it's spicy, but adds a lot of flavour to it. And I'm happy with this. But you get what you pay for, don't you? So that's the thing. Mm. I would recommend. So I nearly ordered the pig's stomach and that would have just been a bit of a disaster. But the waitress was like, just checking you know what that means. Because um, I was just going off the bit that said like caramelized onions and cheese. So I swapped it out and I got a roasted seasonal vegetable crepe with goat's cheese. Ready? Yeah. Mm. 
Wow. Wow. I'm just checking that's not the bird. That's mm. a cat. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I know what you mean. It's so rich. Oh, that cream just melts in your mouth as well. But it's, oh yeah, it's like goat's, goat's cheese, but like in a cream. Oh my god. Let me have another bite. <laughs> Those roasted veg vegetables are so nice as well. Yeah. Oh, big That's just delicious. I feel like you have to try that for yourself. Mm. Because again, I think you, you need to try this one too. This is so good. It's slightly on the pricier side, but it's definitely worth it. Like the ingredients in here are such high quality. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Good. As you can see here, <laughs> both of us have absolutely cleared our plates. That was one of the nicest meals I think I've had ever. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. <laughs> In case you're still finishing this <laughs> Honestly though, that was unbelievable. Mm. Honestly, one of the best meals I've ever had. Yeah, one of the best meals I've ever had as well. And that salad looks like just normal salad. Um, but I don't know what they do to the food here, <laughs> but that was the nicest Lots of olive oil. Salad. Yeah, <laughs> the, the nicest leaves I've ever had. <laughs> mm. Yeah, It's just something, it's something I never had before, like a buck wheat pepper. I guess. So it was so nice. Yeah. And you definitely need a reservation because they've been turning a lot of people away and the odd people do get through but they're like you know you've got the table for like 40 minutes so definitely um, make sure to book this place if you want to come and then i thought since the mains were so good we couldn't leave without getting a dessert so we've got just a plain sugar and butter uh crepe Mm. Oh, butter's lovely. Oh my mm. god, the butter is insane. <laughs> the butter on its own. God, Good. So nice. Look how thin this crap is, though. Look at mm. that. Looks like a piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yeah. yeah, it's so, so good and sweet and buttery. I think what more could you want? This is a good choice. <laughs> all right, I better give you back before I eat all. <laughs> <laughs> This place, I think, is the busiest place we've been yet. I yeah. mean, it is a Saturday as well, so it could just be that. And maybe the Eiffel Tower is also as rammed as this place is today. Yeah. We just tried to stand in the middle of the road because there's a little section where, you know, it's, it's not road, so you can stand and there's a queue and people get photos. Yeah. But it was absolute carnage like yeah. everyone was just out for themselves there was a little bit of a queue yeah. but then once you got to the front everyone just stood in front of us well people just take the opportunity and they just push in which yeah i think is fair enough because it's not an official thing is it you just you just you're, you're being a bit stupid standing in the middle <laughs> yeah but, but it's also it's not just dangerous for them it's dangerous for the drivers as well yeah I see some of them literally like stood halfway in the little roundabout yeah. in the road, like doing yeah. TikToks and like taking pictures. It's mad. You've actually got cars stopping and beeping because people are just in the way. Yeah. But it seems silly because, you know, there is actually a point where everyone can stand. Yeah. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe that whole thing one day is just going to disappear and there's going to be rules that you can't even stand in that middle section. Yeah, well, it's just waiting for one day someone to get hit by a car, basically. If you do want a picture, I'd suggest just coming a little bit to the left of where everybody's standing in the middle of the road over there. Just come in to the left. You're slightly off centre, but you've got a clear view. No one's going to jump in front of your pictures. Um, and you're not going to get hit by a car. So, 
Win-win. <laughs> yeah. So this is the bit you want to go to to get your flowers because it's clear, it's safe. And I mean, look at that view. Find an even better spot. Just go underneath the Arc de Triomphe, come out the other side, and there's so much room. And if you do want to go in the middle of the road, <laughs> there's like a very minimal queue. There's like three people there. Yeah. So, life hack. <laughs> <laughs> so, learn from our mistakes there. Um, but also, we went to go in it, um, you know, just to stand beneath it. And it's purely ticketed yeah. to go at the top or even stand beneath. And I think it's about 17 euro. So, we just thought, since we're not, we won't be staying there for a long time anyway, yeah. we'll just give it a miss and admire it from afar. And by the way, this roundabout is absolutely nuts. I have no idea how the hell it works. There's about 17 lanes. <laughs> People are just cutting each other up. It's fucking mad. So we're on the Champs Elysees before we start for a hot chocolate because that's really famous here in Paris. Uh, we're at somewhere called Joyo. Um, and it's got a really good rating. So I've got a hot chocolate. Oh, tastes very dark. Tastes very rich. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it's a dark hot chocolate, but it's nice though. Not like really, I mean, it's quite sweet, but it's like a dark, rich hot chocolate. I quite like that though. And then we also got the Viennese chocolate. And it looks like it's ice, but it's not. It's got some lovely cream on top. So hopefully quite indulgent. Oh my God. That's like liquid milk chocolate. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Should mix some of the cream in. Oh. oh my god, that's heavy as well. Mm. Look at that. And then we also got a croissant. Croissant, our first croissant in Paris. Ooh, it looks nice and buttery. Mm. Yeah, you gotta dip it in, haven't you? Apparently, this is what the French do. Oh, is it? Apparently. And now the Welsh do it as well. <laughs> mm. That's the airiest, fluffiest croissant I've ever had. Oh, really? Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Ooh. But it might be because of the chocolate. Maybe, Maybe. it breaks it down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think this is a good choice. <laughs> So I've got myself some escargot, which is French snails. <laughs> Never had them before, it smells really garlicky. So, first time ever, I hope I get this right. I've got some pincers. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Right. Bon appetit. <laughs> Nice. It's really chewy. Garlic and garlic butter. Basically all it tastes like is garlic butter and parsley. Um, I mean it's really nice. It's just a bit, a bit chewy, a bit... What am I trying? I don't know what to compare it to. A bit very like spongy. But nice flavour. I mean it, it tastes like garlic and garlic butter basically. <laughs> it's new though. Mm. 
Oh my gosh, that is such a good comfort food. Oh my. It's just like a stew. Because it's got that oniony and like beefy kind of taste. But then you've got melted bread and cheese in there. Mm. That piece of bread. Oh, that's Here for the main course, this is another first for me, which is the beef tartare. Very interesting. I'm not quite sure how to eat beef tartare, whether you just have it on its own or whether you're gonna like have it with a chip or what. Maybe try it on its own. So try it on its own. There's an egg yolk on it as well. <laughs> You mix it in, don't you? I reckon. This is look appetizing to you, go. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Okay, let's try a little bit now. Just on its own. Oh, cook. I can't the size of it. Mm. Interesting. It's cold, obviously. It's got kind of the texture of smoked salmon. It's quite nice. I think it's got capers in it as well. So it's got that, that's probably why, because it's got a bit of a fishy, a bit of a fishy taste to it. Or I think it's got pickles in it as well. Hey, it's pretty nice. I, I, let me have, try. I think they've got some pickled onions in it as well. Let me try that. Mm. Oh wow. No, I really like that. It's really flavorful. It doesn't taste like I'm eating beef. <laughs> I think if I mix it in with the chips as well and the salad, I can have it with it. I think it'd be really good. Hey. <laughs> Another successful uh, escapade for me. <laughs> and then I've just kept it simple and got some truffle pasta. And I'm quite glad that the portion's small because I'm not that hungry after the bread and that soup. I've kept mine quite basic, but let's give it a taste. <laughs> That truffle is strong. Yeah, yeah, it's truffle pasta. I feel like you, you're going to be able to smell my breath from a mile. <laughs> You've had garlic snails and now you've had truffle pasta. Look at the shape of this pasta. It's really satisfying to eat. It's like macaroni. Yeah, but it's like tiny. Kind of solid as well, like al dente, so it's perfect. Mm. I'm happy as well. <laughs> Success! We love French mm. <laughs> We do. Um, with that being said, that was all we ate. We finished the night watching the Eiffel Tower sparkle. It sparkles for five minutes every evening, once an hour from dusk until 1am. So it gives you plenty of time to get some nice pictures or some cringy videos like us. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss an upload. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out our other videos where we visit Disneyland Paris trying all of the food. And we also do some more exploring around Paris. But thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next one. See, See ya! ya. So, before we go anywhere, let's shut <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Imagine someone's in there. <laughs> like... Oh my god, look at that mini bus! Oh my god, that bus in... Oh my god. That's so cute. It's just a bus, that. <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely need a recommendation because they've been too... Reservation. What, what did I say? Recommendation. Definitely need a recommendation because they've been... Reservation. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Let's go for it. How do you... I don't... I don't, I don't know how you do it. I, I, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how you do it. Let <laughs> 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 me try.